My name is Rod Cullen and I'm a coal miner from Estevan. I drive the D10, D11 dozer and I, I'm trained on the drag lines to oil and operate the drag lines also. I've uh, just been following some of this drone technology and I think the batteries and the, the sensors are are at the level of making a practical business out of it. Like with all these federal policies and the coal being on the chopping block, I think it's a good segue to use my aviation background and transition into a, what we think is gonna be a, a viable business for the area. So I'm a licensed commercial pilot. I got my commercial pilot license in uh, 1999, just out of high school actually. And uh, didn't do much with it, I was legally colorblind, so I kind of restricted what I could do with it and I didn't want to go the traditional, couldn't go the traditional ways with it, so I just kind of spent nine years in the oil field with Schlumberger fracking and then I spent 10 years at the coal mine, it'll be 11 years now at the coal mine, running heavy equipment, and the drag lines and stuff, and now I want to get back into my aviation they changed the drone laws in 2019, which you almost need a private or commercial license to uh, to run these things. And this one is an enterprise drone. So, so with my commercial license, uh, I did some uh, crop spraying. I went to North Battleford and I got my aerial applicators license, commercial pesticide applicators license. I was working in Manitoba for a summer. Uh, I did some uh, oil patch inspections there. With the, the drone technology and the sensors, you get the FPV camera, you get the compass and situational awareness, so it's, and then the camera on the flight controller, the display there, it looks like you're, you're sitting in the cockpit. So the sensor packages we have right now, three of them right now, we have a, a P1 for 2D mapping and 3D modeling. Uh, we have a H20T thermal inspection camera. It's a quad sensor, so it's got uh, radiometric thermal camera video, uh, zoom, and uh, laser range finder. And then we also have a U10 laser methane sensor for picking up methane, natural gas. Yeah, so our quad sensor, it's a 20 megapixel, 23 times digital zoom. I can, I can read serial numbers and I don't have to get close at all. I'm, you know, 50 feet, 80 feet, 100 feet away. I can zoom in and get pretty good detail. I don't need to go up in a man basket or on the, the gantry walkways there to, to be inspecting the panels. We, we can just send the drone up and zoom in with the, the inspection camera. Depending on the time of day, you know, I, could, I can get uh, spot temperature readings with it. Um, for instance, like today with the hot flare stack, I can, I can change the uh, the temperature that I'm looking at. So normally it's about 150 degrees, but on this situation, I can change it to 550. So with the radiometric thermal camera, we're able to do spot temperature readings on say that motor, uh, pump jack motor behind me. And we're able to tell if it's running normal at 30, 35 degrees, or if it's running abnormal at 70, 80, 100, 150 degrees, and just kind of showing if it's going to fail or not. Uh, we got the laser methane sensor because we wanted to be able to focus in on which valves, which part of the lease was uh, was leaking. We didn't want, we want to save the oil company's time. We want to be able to figure out, yeah, it's this valve, it's this thief hatch, you know, it's this chunk of pipe that's that's leaking methane. It's not coming from the northwest corner of the lease. So the federal government, they implemented all these rules and regulations on uh, methane emissions. And a lot of it comes from the oil and gas, a lot of it comes from coal, and a lot of it comes from the marshes around these lease sites. These uh, satellites that they're launching, they're not gonna pick up within great detail where it's coming from, but with Predator, we can tell you if it's coming from the valve, the thief hatch, or the, the marsh surrounding your, your location. When I was Doing the study for my company, I became knowledgeable on these ESG environmental social governance reports. Most of the companies are doing them voluntarily right now. Um, with my business startup research, I was 
kind of came to the conclusion that the federal government's going to, they're thinking about implementing them. The corporate world is starting to demand a little bit more information on these ESG reports from companies. And that's where Predator Inspections is hoping to fill the void and give oil companies and verified emission reduction that, you know, we're, our methane is at this level. Predator Inspections with these uh, ESG reports, we're able to do uh, verified emission reductions. We have, uh, with our one laser methane app sensor, we'll do a baseline inspection. We'll figure out where the methane's coming from. We can come back and compare the reports and it'll show the reduction of methane and that will benefit your ESG reports. Predator Inspections, we're excited. We're waiting on another sensor, possibly one more after that. We're gonna be helping the ag farmers with uh, the Alton PT, that's a thermal multispectral sensor. And it'll help oil companies too. I'm Rod Cullen with Predator Inspections and we're excited to get off the ground.